everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to be talking about the final quarterfinal on Tuesday, the fourth game of the day from Paris's Accord Arena as the United States looks to advance to the semifinals by defeating Brazil. Awaiting in the semis will either be the Australians or Nikola Jokic and Serbia, a team they've already seen uh, twice in these uh, Olympic cycle games as uh, they warmed up against Serbia before leaving overseas and then beat them in group play. But before we get to that, we've got to beat Brazil as far as Team USA is concerned. And they're a 27 point favorite uh, in looking to do so. They are three and O in the Olympics with a plus 64 point differential. They've averaged 105.7 points in their victories thus far, while giving up 84.3, uh, really took advantage of all their opposition, beating Serbia, South Sudan, and most recently Puerto Rico, although they only covered against the Serbians, uh, both South Sudan, they didn't shoot the ball very well, and against Puerto Rico, uh, they got off to a very slow start, and then Joel Embiid really did nothing uh, defensively over the last few minutes with the cover on the line. So Embiid will probably start again, but he has been the uh, glaring weak link in the U.S. starting five, even though Steph Curry hasn't shot the ball well. At least he spaces the floor. Embiid just has looked out of sync, and even though he has put up some numbers, uh, he has been the weak link, and Anthony Davis and Bam Adebayo have both fared much better than him uh, as the primary big man for Team USA, and they've uh, looked extremely good when they play together next to LeBron James or other wings on the U.S. squad. Curry will uh, end up uh, straightening up his shot, hopefully, in these knockout stages, uh, but uh, we'll see if he can follow what Kevin Durant and Devin Booker have done since both are shooting the ball well. Uh, Drew Holiday missed the last game uh, after turning his ankle. Uh, it was uh, deemed a precautionary, but uh, probably the right decision. He should be back in the mix against Brazil. Brazil comes in one and two uh, in their group. Uh, they played against France uh, and Germany, and uh, they did post a win over Japan. A minus seven point differential. They're averaging 80.2 points and giving up 82.3. They lost to Germany 86 to 73 in a game that they trailed 22 to 10 after one. So look for the United States to try to follow that blueprint by coming out on the defensive end as opposed to running with the Brazilians. Brazil's got a lot of good athletes. I mean, they've got players that are the only NBA guy that they've got uh, currently is Mauzinha, and uh, he didn't catch on with the Grizzlies. They got Guy Santos, I guess, as well, uh, who's uh, on a deal with the Warriors. But uh, Bruno Caboclo is probably the most seasoned of the Brazilians. He was a longtime Raptor, played mostly with Memphis too uh, in uh, 19, uh, pardon me, in, in 2018 to 2020. Uh, they got Didi Luzada, who has had some uh, experience with the Pelicans and the Blazers. Howell Neto, a point guard, who played with the Jazz for a while, a 76ers first season. He's also been with the Grizzlies, most recently with the Cavs. They've got guys that are veterans that have played overseas, uh, none older than Marcelino Huertas, a 41-year-old. might remember him from the Lakers, but he's been around the international scene for a while. Cristiano Felicio from uh, old – old school Bulls days. Uh, he's one of their primary bigs. They've got Jorginho, Leo Mendel, uh, who plays out in Japan. Victor Benite uh, plays in Spain. So it's a deep group, but nobody obviously that is uh, on the Jokic or Giannis uh, stratosphere as being the primary guy. So the U.S. is going to have to collectively defend, and I think they will. I'm not going to lay 27 points. In fact, my lean is actually towards Brazil. But the play here for the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel is to go under 184 and a half points for this one. And I know that the U.S. is averaging 105, but they're going to have to top that because I think they hold a Brazil team that's averaging 80 under their average. And I think from here on out, you see Steve Kerr preach defense first and foremost. You can't have these teams get a rhythm of the way Puerto Rico was able to uh, in this weekend's final group stage game because uh, they were up on the United States early, shot the ball extremely well to get that cover, and uh, that's the reason why 
uh, a lackadaisical defense uh, that the United States can't afford to play now that the competition will be tougher from here on out. So we're going to ride the under on 184 and a half points, just so you guys have a uh, idea of where we are here on the points numbers. Uh, early on, DraftKings has Devin Booker at nine and a half points, Anthony Edwards, the hero of the Puerto Rico game, at 13 and a half. Uh, he's going to keep on shooting and looking for his shot, so I would definitely back him at plus 110. LeBron James' PRA is at 27 and a half. Uh, would probably ride the over there because now that we are into elimination games, I don't see him leaving the floor often. And Steph Curry, is he going to figure this out? Uh, if he does, 18 and a half on PRA is uh, pretty enticing to ride the over in. Again, uh, based on what we've seen from Steve Kerr, he's going to play his primary guy's big minutes. And if you're left out of the rotation, you're left out of the rotation. So from that standpoint, we, you're going to want to ride the over on guys like Curry and LeBron from here on out. Three games until a gold medal. So that's uh, the goal here for the United States. And it starts against Brazil. Uh, smash that like button for me and make sure you're following all our videos here at Wager Talk TV. Be subscribed. Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Check me out at sm.buzz slash TDM for all package information and some free plays there. And again, make sure that you are checking out all of our deals. We've got some great August uh, things that we have cooking up at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo uh, with, the, with the football season right around the corner, preseason NFL coming up later this week, and the college football season kicking off before this month ends. So again, we're riding the United States and Brazil to the under on 182 and a half points. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.